So we're leaving Wat Palat now, and we just hired um, a guy that's driving one of these big red trucks. These are like one of the main ways of transportation that we've seen around Old City. And when you're in the Old City, it's only 30 baht per person. Uh, we are paying 50 baht per person to go from Wat Palat to Wat Pratat Doisutet. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation, but uh, we will be there soon. It's going to be interesting going on the mountainous, curvy, rough roads, but we've got a handle to hold on to. Mammal's super excited as well. <laughs> yes, I am. to Wat Pratat Doi Sutep, which is right on the peak of Doi Sutep, the famous mountain in Chiang Mai. So to actually get to the temple, you have to make your way up through, I think there's like a, over 300 steps in this stairway. So you have to traverse this to get to the very top, and there's supposed to be a magnificent view of the city from the top. The entire city of Chiang Mai you're supposed to be able to see. So we can actually feel a significant temperature change where we are now versus down in like the old city area. It feels really cool. Um, again, lots of nature still, just like the last temple that we were just at. So we're about to traverse these stairs and see how it is. We're now at the viewpoint that I was talking about earlier and it's pretty pretty nice. Uh, we have the whole city in the background uh, and it's right around sunset right now but the sun is going down on the other side so we don't get that but it's really nice. Very cool temperature. Um, so this is like a very cool addition to just seeing yeah. the temple to be able to have this view. I'm kind of interested to know if we can get on the other side and see the sunset. Yeah. You think? I don't I have no idea. <laughs> this seems to be the major like lookout point. So um, there's a lot of like nice birds flying around up here, and then there's also like uh, pretty cool vegetation. Like just behind us, there's these really like purple flowers. Um, it's just one of the things that struck me right when we started walking through. It's very different being up in the mountain than being down in central Chiang Mai, just with all the lush vegetation. <laughs> all the lush vegetation that's up here versus in the city like um, you know that there's uh, plants and trees and stuff throughout but nothing like this so I feel like we haven't seen anything like this since uh, since we were in Bali I think yeah it really kind of reminded us of the kind of Bali like views cool all right uh. <laughs> All right, so shoes are off. And I'm about to go in where Mandy and Gail are already up there. And I'm um, just gonna show, it's kind of strange that uh, there's like all of this over here. 
But if you can see the sign. So I don't know what that's about, but we're heading in. I just think it's phenomenal. We don't have stuff this old in America, and I just, I love it, love it. Is there anything to compare it to from what we've seen in Old City? Well, it's busy. Uh, some things here look newer, but then we've got some really old stuff. We haven't seen all of it yet, so I don't know. When you first get off, I rode the cable car. I did not walk up like Mandy and Chris did, and uh, that was an experience. But when you first get off, it's just you walk into this pavilion with just a huge umbrella of purple flowers. It's beautiful when you first get off the cable car, but it's, it's been a very nice experience. And it's cooler here too, much cooler. Well, we still have a decent amount to explore. We were talking about trying to go over to the other side. I don't know if you can have any views of sunset on the other side of the temple, but we might try to find it. Okay, I'm game. around what appears to be kind of the main grounds of the temple so to get into this particular section you have to take your shoes off and it's got this large gold pagoda behind me lots of gold just all throughout like all of the statues and the rooftops and the bells everything is just gold around um, and even though this is one of the more visited temples in Chiang Mai. It's kind of like a must do when you're here. We expected crowds and crowds of people and there are definitely a lot of people, but still it's pretty tranquil. We just finished watching a monk ceremony. It's dark now and many people around are tired. Alright, we're getting ready to leave but 
I'm gonna go down and check out the uh, city because it's all lit up now. So I'm just heading down this walkway here. Got like awesome um, lighting going on. There's like all these lanterns lit up. Oh uh, yeah, the city looks pretty cool. Yeah, these carvings here are like uh, dragons. It feels like real wood. So we have all the way up. Very cool carvings. Up. And here comes Mandy.